Good morning. We just have a discussion about Eden's outfit. She's got two layers on because she's dressed on top with her workout gear underneath. She's pretty cool. Not all. Okay. Just the leggings. So she's she's double layered on the bottom half. But now she's decided to take her leggings off because she'll be too warm. Because the heating's on, been on nicely overnight oh, and the sun's been coming in. And it's no one's fault, it's a good thing. You know, still, it's quite chillier tonight. Well, you go to bed earlier than us, believe me. By 10.30, it's pretty cold. Yeah. But anyway. But I have my window open. I mean, not my window, my... my... I'm telling everybody Why? this. I'm telling everybody. Huh? Tell everybody this. Cause started. Um. Okay. So, this morning. It's all about Aiden changing. <laughs> Which is not unusual. She can go through a few outfits a day and um, they all end up in the washing. She can single handedly put a washing basket in a day. <laughs> yes, she do. Come on. It's she... your creative stuff. Yes. Now for this adventure, I'm going to do this. But anyway, it is Friday, the 24th of. Um, 24th April. of April. Eight months till Christmas Eve. Who's oh. excited? <laughs> <laughs> Me, I love Christmas. <laughs> That's why you come down most days in Christmas joggers, Christmas bottoms. Do you know That's what? Cool. We don't have many festivals in this country. I'm going to make the most of the ones that we do. It's true, actually. And actually, that came up in my memories from two, three, three years ago now. was being in Ibiza in April and the Easter festivals and the, the different ones. That See, the Spanish, on. they know how to do festivals. They know how to do festivals. They're doing fiestas every other weekend. Yeah, they like it. They're into it. They've got it all, they've got it all lined up. Down, please, the table. Do their religious ones, they do their cultural ones, they get everything on the go, don't they? Yeah, I love it. If it's not a fiesta, it's a siesta. <laughs> Two of my favorite things. <laughs> do your favourite things. <laughs> having a party and having a sleep. <laughs> no wonder they have to sleep because they're too busy partying every weekend. How's every Which also brings me to probably one of the strangest terms I've ever heard. And it's popped up at other places, but in some European languages, and I believe South American as well. The adjective or the, the, the to, to go to a party is translated into English as make party. Make party? Yeah. Nice. You, what, what, are you bringing the whole the shebang? Is, <laughs> is, is, is your personality or what are you, what are you bringing to the <laughs> make party? Make party? Yeah, make party on the weekend. Yeah, good. Great. Where? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me where I come. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I have to live with this all the time. Uh, He's like it all the time. All the time. This is true. Well, yes, but I'm not very excited. But I'm quite funny. No, I didn't funny now. <laughs> Those times I'm funny looking. <laughs> oh, oh, bless your heart. Well, up to Sailor. Anything Today, interesting? Well, I was going to talk about um, reframing, refocusing, and looking at, at life now and post. Um, isolation and lockdown. Because they post the apocalypse. Though. I had this quote going around in my head, and I kept doing it in a really long way. And it was basically, if you if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get the same result. But the shortened version actually was apparently, and because it's the internet, apparently said by Albert Einstein, what? which was his definition of insanity, which was insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So slightly different. Mm. Um, the reason I'm now confused. Oh, I know that. That is on the wall at the gym. It is. It is on the wall at the gym. But I think a better way of kind of saying it is if you always do what you've always done, you'd always get the same outcome. Because mm. that kind of applies in You'd always get areas. what you've always got. Yeah, you'd always get what you've always got. Mm. Which then makes you think of that uh, <laughs> early 2000s song, You Only Get What You Give. <laughs> Who was that by? I don't know. It's kind of an indie band, but a bit more of a pop indie band. But anyway, yeah, this is my, my brain has got some crazy... Wiring, doesn't it? Just goes off a little. Well, interesting. Craziness. I like to call it interesting wiring. Interesting wiring. Creative. Creative. All ways to frame something in a yeah. positive manner. Try to. Try to. Or associated with some sort of musical adventure or actual song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, yeah. But uh, <coughs> obviously, we've talked about it a little bit during these talks about what life's like now and um, we have talked about what life's going to look like after this or what it could look like and how what lessons to learn 
and obviously that's going to continue to be an ongoing process. One of the lessons we're learning this morning is that Hannah likes to go out for a walk. She said we've been out for two days, so she's feeling a little bit up in there. Mm. Uh, getting out is important to you. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah, that's one of the things we've learned that actually we need outside time. I need outside time. I need outside time, but I'm more likely to go and do something. Me and Eden really need outside time, and you and Levi are more happy. Our outside time could be what I did yesterday, which was sit outside, listen to something, and have my lunch. Yeah, so I, um, I can do again. that, but that will just get me through. It won't, like, it will keep me going, but it won't build me up. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And that's okay for a while, isn't it? Like, sometimes you just have to do what keeps you going. I mean, I like going out and about and doing something active for the sake of it in a sense, for that purpose of to be active and promoting general well-being and your health. And, you know. But also, in a sense, I probably prefer going out to do something purposeful. Yeah, you do. But yeah, yeah but you see them that as purposeful, whereas I'm quite happy to go and walk through the woods and watch the light come through the trees. <laughs> yeah, which I think is stunning as well. And uh, Eden's getting into photography, so she's looking for things like that, aren't you, now, Tiki? Finding, that, finding those cool things to look at. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, so in, in a sense, even getting into photography, we've started looking at online courses you can do, YouTube and things like that, and that kind of brings me on to the next thing around what's life going to look like, or what do you want life to look like, either now and what changes you can do now, or post-isolation. I um, keep thinking you're going to say apocalypse. It's not an apocalypse. No, I know, it's just when you say it's post, the word that comes next is apocalypse. Some of it's a pain in the butt, some of it's an opportunity. Some of it is, um, yeah, us kind of having to accept that sometimes you have to do as you're told. Yeah. Cool, yeah. But, so I think, so Eden's looking at learning new skills and, and I'm doing quite a lot of that with my business and how to manage my time and how to do marketing and all that sort of thing is all things I'm focused on. And once you get past homeschooling and all the different things is it is it a bit of time there to read find out a bit more about something you're interested in or something that you've always um, in a sense struggled with so for my area is health and fitness and I've been doing different Q&A's in different mm. places um, and trying to in a sense just lay out the principles and give people the knowledge to then move forward with it themselves. This morning, Dave, and I was saying on the Q and I was doing last night. I can't, with all good conscience, sell principles, package principles, into into a product because they are, they're in a sense, they're universal. And if if um, if I found some, if I was given something or sold something whereby a little bit a little while down the line I realised actually if I pointed in the right direction I could have found this stuff out for myself I'd maybe be a little bit disappointed with where it came from having someone sold it to me mm. uh, sometimes you, you need that stuff packaged up because it's knowledge that you're going to struggle to attain or understand and someone's going to have to present it to you I think that's fair enough, but something that really I personally think should be maybe taught at school um, in terms of health and fitness and how that all works. Yeah. And so, for instance, similar with the money management, that should really be yeah. principles that young people learn at school. And I don't think it should be. I shouldn't be putting that behind uh, something you have to pay for before you're going to get access to what I know and come to understand and continue to learn more about. Um, what I was saying on my Q&A last night was that I put the support and the uh, accountability and the motivation to keep it into implementing mm -hmm. those principles. That's what, in a sense, that's what I sell and that's what I provide as a service. But I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hide the principles back Yeah. before and saying, well, you only get to know that if you give me something in return, which, as a business, is, is financial, is money. Um, 
those principles are out there. I'm going to try and explain them to you, hopefully, in a way that you understand where, as you might have read something, an article, a blog, had someone else explained it to you before in a different way and not understood it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't mind. know where you were going with that, that, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> learning something for yourself that mm. you're interested in is a really good use of some time that you've got. Um, and the other little things we've been doing, I've got a lot more kind of joy and fulfillment out of doing the DIY stuff. Aww, I like, I, babe. I do like doing it. I've always liked doing it. Just obviously needed a bit of a kind of... Kick up the butt. Yeah, to get it done. <laughs> after Gentle encouragement. After, you know, a working week that's not actually kind of 60 or 70 hours, but it's spread over 60 or 70 hours yeah, in a week. It is really. You know, that is pretty tiring and therefore painting a wall white which would be quite a straightforward task becomes quite a big deal on a Saturday afternoon when you actually want to do something do a video games <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes even that's too much effort even that tippy tappy buttons <laughs> it's best just to be watching something or you know, literally staying still yeah but, I think yeah. it's good isn't it if you've got the time in this mm. season to do something that you'd like to you know you've maybe wanted to before and you've not had a chance to you've not had time yeah. at the same time though I would say and I I found this you go on social media and you see all these people who are doing all these great things and learning things and you know making a sourdough starter or I don't know um, <clears throat> extending their house single handedly um, <laughs> and uh, at the same time whilst giving their children a full homeschool curriculum and oh look I built an extension um, and and actually, also, if what you can manage in this time is just to rest mm. and restore a little bit and look after yourself a little bit and, you know, get through the day, yeah, <laughs> that's also absolutely fine. Totally. And I think people need to know that it's not, like, you're not a better human if you use this time to learn a new language or do a course or all those guitar. things learn to play guitar I've they're, heard not, it much they're this not week. bothered no. at all sure. um, <laughs> then you know it's, that's great if you want to do that if you want to learn something that's a brilliant way of using time um, mm. but also if you just if it's all just too much for you yeah. and actually what you need to do is mooch on the sofa or have a bath or paint your nails or I don't know. Um, Dave might paint his nails. Dave might paint his nails. <laughs> he might do. Then he'll see. He'll send me a picture tomorrow. Um, later on. <laughs> <laughs> then that's so totally valid yeah. too. And we all need to do what it is that's going to make this a positive time for mm. us. Um, and I think back to like times where we'd had really, really mentally hectic seasons. If we'd come into something like this at that point, Probably the best thing for us would have been to just use it as a restorative mm. time and a restful time. And like now, we're in a different season, and so you can use it as a time to yeah. learn yeah. things and change things and that's awesome Actually, too. Actually, over the year, you're, you'd be very good at judging when that is, to have that downtime. And there might be talks about through the week or whatever. Oh, I'm going to do this at the weekend, I'm going to do that at the weekend, whether it be activities or... DIY mm. jobs or whatever it is, and then we get to Saturday and hang over that job, we're just going to suck it off and yeah. rest, which is great. Um, I heard somebody speak once, and they were talking about like the different seasons that you're at in life, mm. um, and recognising what period of time you're actually in, and so if you're in a season where you need to rest, then rest, and that's a really good thing, mm. and if you're in a season where you need to grow, then do things that are going to help you grow, um, and if you're in a season where actually you're kind of firing on all cylinders and you're like ahead of the game and then that's brilliant and do that but don't try and be at that kind of really all on fire like going for it career kids everything um all running at top speed if actually the season you're in is a season where you need to rest um and just yeah. being aware of what it is that you need at that point and being okay with that um because we can't all live at 50 billion miles an hour all the time can we no that, that, that's why we talked about it earlier this week that 
like our week, so I set up for kind of five days working on the weekend. Should be four and three, surely. <laughs> maybe, maybe, and you know the kind of standard minimum for um, uh, holidays, kind of in employment, is four weeks, if not more. And you know, I think certainly some of the services people that work in services get more because they are their working time is more intense and you know, I, I used to be a teacher and the joke is that well, you know, 13 weeks holiday a year is no. definitely not 13 weeks holiday Mm-mm. from time done during the term time and the end the actual work that ends up getting done in the holidays anyway but you know I certainly having been experienced that don't begrudge teachers their 13 oh, weeks no, a year because it's not they're still probably actually only taking four weeks a year Anyway, yeah. because the only time they don't think about their work or mark their books or mark the students' books, prepare new lessons, all yeah. that sort of thing, is if they actually physically leave and go on prop, like properly on holiday. And even then, sometimes I've been take, away take and taken my laptop yeah. and ended up doing things like I've sat in the in um, branch or wherever um, doing work, and particularly when I was like retraining and qualifying as a teacher ten years ago. Oh yeah, sure. I was doing essays in the holidays where I've been basically teaching full time mm. as a trainee in school in the term times. So, you know, it's all swings and roundabouts and every everybody's situation is is different. Yeah. And um yeah, as you say, as much as I say maybe you can do this, then maybe actually what Hannah's saying, the flip side is maybe you should actually do less and simplify things for a, a period of time. And, you know, stripping the walls and painting a new colour can wait. Yeah. You have to wait three days anyway, because you've got to go to B, you've got to go to B and Q. <laughs> You're in the virtual queue, aren't you? I don't know, like, it's good. I, like, I actually want to get stuff done at the moment. Yeah. You know, and I'm finding it a little bit frustrating that I can't, because I'm still working. But, um, I think, but yeah, I don't know. It's so easy when you look on social it's media to look at everything very, that everybody's doing. This morning. It does. To look at everything that people are doing, and that, like remember that social media is a highlight reel, man. Yeah. Like people post their best bits; they don't post the bits where they just had a major fight and, you know, wanted to storm out but couldn't because they were on lockdown. Um, <laughs> Dave, oh, that's different. Yeah, that's good. That's when he actually does like boxing matches. Yeah, that's okay. Different. That's different. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're saying. That's an entrance. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it is an entrance, eh? But anyway, yeah, that's some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You fire out some great things without any warning or any preparation, don't you? <laughs> it's cool. You're sweet. <laughs> so this is us a little insight into our life. Let's do this. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Good morning to everyone who's, who's popped on. And, um, yeah, I put a comment. And, yeah, morning, Paul. Uh, Paul's uh, from Oswald's Headburn, lovely. Great guy, went on and uh, qualified as a level one rugby league coach for Paul. Yeah, and uh, that is uh, my auntie Adrian. Yeah, just jumped on. Oh, hey, auntie Adrian. Uh, yeah, so. Um, Good to see you, all kind of. Yeah, <laughs> if you just come on, then we're about to stop uh, talking. <laughs> but that, uh, and Gilly, wow, how you doing, buddy? Um, we're about to jump off and go f- and uh, get started to our day, but uh, these videos get uploaded straight away. So, um, yeah, if you found our way to the video either through my profile or shared it or the Facebook page, if you do a like now, then I can invite you to the page and be able to watch it back and see the others uh, Monday to Friday and our little one on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish we could just have coffee on our own on Saturday. Video. Um, uh, such, a, such a graceful lady. I, uh, and um, <laughs> it's Jackie as well. Good morning. So you can watch it again. And the purpose of this video really is to just put some ideas of ours and it's actually a, a jumble in our heads that pops out, particularly out of mine. And uh, say, how can we help you today? Through the situation we're in, through uh, health, fitness, well-being, because that's our speciality, really, in terms of vocation and work, and also anything else we can support you with. Um, yeah, we're neck deep in homeschool, we say we've got other people, and just working through family stuff. So is there anything we can support you with? Put, pop in a comment send us a message or just give us a wave like people do as they're watching and uh, yeah 
yeah, that's really cool. We hope you have a really good uh, Friday and into the weekend, whatever that looks like for you. And then uh, I guess see you have tomorrow. Or we'll uh, catch up again next week, 7am. Have a great day. Have a great day.